Welcome to the world of baking with Stella. And that's like where a rainbow goes. Today we're gonna to be making my favorite pie dough. It involves equal parts flour and butter put into a bowl and smushed together with your hands. That's it. You don't need any fancy ingredients. You don't need a special technique. You cannot make a dough like this in a food processor because the food processor blades are gonna cut up the butter into small tiny pieces that are gonna be nothing like these big flaky chunks that are gonna make this pie crust so flaky and delicious. So this pie dough is really great for any type of intricate lattice design because we're intentionally cultivating gluten so that the pie is strong and sturdy. You guys, all I'm trying to say is that this pie dough is really good and you should trust me. I love you. I want you to succeed, but that means that you need to listen to me, okay? Let's do this. So I'll just be like, now we're making pie dough. Flour, salt, sugar, so the thing about sugar is that it does not make the pie crust sweet. It just helps with browning. So, and then we're gonna whisk them up. This takes longer than you think. For this recipe, I'm gonna use American style butter. This pie dough is nearly 50% butter. We don't need any extra fat. So if you use a European style, it's just adding way too much fat. And also European style butters tend to be a little bit softer, which makes the dough squishy. And this is America. I'm gonna cut it into about half inch cubes. So I cut them basically into four long sticks. Then I come through and just cut them at approximately half inch intervals. Air on the side of slightly larger pieces rather than extra small pieces because the small pieces will incorporate too much and make the dough a little sticky. Just gonna toss the butter and the flour together and then just break them apart a little bit. We're going to start working the butter into the flour. Find a cube of butter, smash it in your hand, and set it aside. That's all you're gonna do. Smash, can we get like a slow-mo smash? Like, whoosh. We want the butter to be cold from the fridge, but not frozen. So if you've seen some kind of like pie dough tip about freezing your butter, don't do that. I didn't tell you to do that. This is so satisfying. This is my personal bubble wrap. Toss it around a little bit and make sure you didn't miss any. Phase two, adding the water. I'm just gonna add it. This is just cold tap water. We don't need ice water. And we don't ever, under any circumstances, need to add more water or less water. The amount of water is fixed. If the dough seems too dry, it's probably too cold. If the dough seems too sticky or wet, it's probably too warm. I finish kneading it together by hand. When it's mostly together, I turn it out on the counter and then I'll knead it for another second. And that's, that's all it needs. I'm just gonna roll it into a large rectangle. So don't be afraid to use as much flour as you need to keep it from sticking. All the extra flour can be brushed off in the end. And about, say, halfway through, you can hit it with some more flour and then flip it over. And see there, you can see where it's starting to stick. And just throw some more flour down on top of it. So at this point, I'm gonna do some folding to the dough and that's gonna create some layers that will help make a super flaky pie crust. And if you see any places that are really rough and uneven, you can kind of like cheat the dough over to even it up a little bit. And from there, I'm gonna fold it in half. This is enough to make two single crusted pies or one double crusted pie. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and start rolling for that. It is rectangular and the pie plate is clearly circular. However, it's really hard to preserve a very rectangular shape unless you're working towards it. So it'll all kind of work out in the end. And when it seems like it's about right, Grab your pie plate and check that indeed it's large enough. And then we're gonna flip it over. And the dough is extremely flexible. It shouldn't crack or tear. And sling it into the pie plate. And then just push it down. So if you're making a single crusted pie, it really helps to have this layer be nice and even. Regardless of what kind of pie you're making, it's good to fold up this extra dough. And this builds up the height of the pie so that it can accommodate all the filling. More filling is better. I'll put one hand around the outside and take the index finger of my right hand and kind of compress it. And this just helps establish a good shape. And that's great. So I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator. Shaping the dough, it has to be refrigerated for two hours in order to firm up the butter that's softened and relax the gluten that we've developed. If you make the dough in advance, pop it in the fridge, and then come to roll it out, you're still gonna have to let it relax for two hours. So I like to just shape it right away. Into the fridge we go. It's usually got this like super flaky, buttery crust berries and like lemon, a little hint of coriander or something in there. Like pumpkin pie, what's up with that? Chocolate cream pie, I mean, 
flaky buttery crust, whatever, chocolate custard inside, toasted meringue on top. Like who wants that? Do you know what the best way to ensure you get the entire pie? Cough directly over it. No one else will take it from you after that. Pro tip.